Maybe you visited Kansas to see the largest ball of twine, or maybe you're tracking the progress of the world's largest chicken. That's coming up in Fitzgerald. Now, one man wants his own claim to fame, and as Suzanne Lawler shows us, you'll see the site right off I-75 in Monroe County. You know you're in for an experience when you pull in the driveway of Hamlin Hills Farms. Well, Hamlin Hills is a fun farm. And I have it here for people to enjoy and come and see things. And see things they do. Folks can visit Treetop, the donkey at the petting zoo, sit down for a meal in the cafe, or wander the grounds and take selfies in front of planes in precarious positions. People come up and down 75 and they say it's the best stop on 75. But now owner Lee Hamlin wants to up his game. We recently decided to do the world's largest barbed wire fence. He's not kidding. He's got the trees ready to go into the ground as posts. Most fences are about four foot tall. This fence will be about four stories tall. And the barbed wire itself will be about three inches in diameter. The barbs will be about a foot long each. Hamlin hopes all of this will get national attention. He's already contacted the Guinness Book of World Records. We have talked to them. We have an application and they're supposed to come out and do their documentation after the fence is built. Lee could have gone with practically anything for the world's largest whatever, but the largest barbed wire fence. At first point, you kind of say, what? But don't worry, Lee has a story for anybody that thinks this might be uninviting. It's funny, a lot of people go, what are you trying to keep in or out? And so I usually tell them there's dinosaur eggs and that they hatched here or they came at night and we're worried about they're going to grow really fast. The tall tails will go along with the tall fence and the general feel of a place that has plenty of personality. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Lee Hamlin says the fence will be up by late spring or early summer, and he plans to build it himself with a little help. And by the way, those tree posts, they came out of his yard. Hmm.